Hello everyone, here's a quick demo on maybe not so quick how to con how you can integrate Google Chat with Jira in this case. So Jira Cloud. So let's uh, fun begin. So first we need to create a notification rule. You can do it from um, project or global level. You can subscribe to multiple events as you see Jira issues, workload, issue link, version, sprints, and so on. So let's pick a few. So we want to receive notification in Google Chat whenever a new issue is created transition or a comment is created and we also we, we ignore comments for internal comments for Jira service management in this case we don't care about any filters we want to have it for all projects of course we can also filter by issue types as you see priorities labels we can add labels and so on and custom filter filters as well which basically helps you to narrow down your notifications and receive only what matters. Another stuff you can configure as a message itself, what you will be receiving, you will play with it later, and we'll use threads in this case. So for, the, for these notifications to work, you also need incoming a poke URL from Google Chat. So let's go back and create one. In this case, we have this channel. We'll go to up and integrations. Here we can have a new, you can use a new hook or we can use an existing one. Let's use an existing one. And we will have a rule number one, pretty simple. So in this particular scenario, we want to ensure that we receive notification when a new issue is created. Another demo task. So for this task, of course, we will get notifications you see here. So it says can three task, another demo task, in project or dinner and so on. We can, for example, in this case, transition it to in progress. As you see, because we use threads, it comes under a thread. So all messages link to one issue or group together. And for example, I don't get it. Could you please provide a better explanation? So we have a comment. So as you see, this uh, comment came straight away into the thread. And we see it all here. And let's say if we move it to done, so the task will be moved to done as well. This is done. Now let me show you another quick thing is we want to use threads. And of course we will pick our project to the filter. So only for our project we had notifications about the same stuff before, but this time we don't use threads. So let move issue back to the door. And notification is easy, it comes here. In this case, if we don't use threads, notifications are more noisy because it all creates new message for each notification. So threads basically, as you see, make stuff stick together and, and a relative, a related issue see in one place. Because if, for example, I type something here, then an issue is transitioned to down. As you see, it all comes in between and messages. So, but if I, for example, I will now come and, and change to use threads. We also let's configure what we want to receive. We want to receive summary. We want to receive a signee, issue, issue type, key, and probably that's it that's for now. And we use threads. So let's have fun again. As you see now, it came back to the same original thread where we saw all messages together. So as you see, threads have their benefits. It's easier to group stuff together, but at the same time, occasionally it's harder to miss. So what I would recommend usually is to set up high priority notifications without threads. So they actually are the last in the channel or in the space, how it's called in Google chat. And you actually can see them without going back and forth. However, if there are some minor notifications, like a related to an issue, you would use threads. So another interesting update, which I recommend is to use feeds like this. So you create channel only for the notifications, and in this way, you can come, pick up the data, information, and, and move on. So it's, it should be much easier for you to stay on top of things. And of course, as you see, I did a global configuration, but at the same time, I can come to the project settings and go to the apps and find here Google Chat, which is an app built by Mover Forward. And you will see here very similar experience as in global configuration with label filters and so on but it only allows you to create configuration for a particular project. So let me show you once more again. And you see you can filter by events. You can configure what data you want to receive in message. You can filter by fields, including custom fields. And of course you say where you want to get that notification. 
So more or less, that's it. If you have any questions about Google Chat Jira integration, please let us know. This app works Jira Cloud and Jira Data Center. If something is missing, like personal notifications or to integration, please reach out to us. Thank you very much.